But as odd as this upbringing might have, might have been, they taught me passion. They taught me whatever you do in life, you do it 138%. You give it your all. Yeah. Pride. Pride in work. You look around now, nobody's working. The people that are working, they don't want to be there. All right, go to the airport. The people that work at the airport, upset that we even showed up to fly. I've never seen an angrier group of people in my life. Soon as you walk into the terminal, they're tapping each other. Look at the, look. At... They brought bags. They got bags! can't take the airport, especially now with these families, especially now, summertime, the families, they're coming out like ants, ants. <laughs> with these little kids, enough with these little kids on an airplane, okay? One week old with placenta on it going to Hawaii, <laughs> Hawaii. And what happened to fathers in this country? Their balls have been detached and thrown in a purse somewhere. What is going on with the fathers? I'm looking at this family check-in. The wife is doing everything. She's lifting the heavy bags. She's doing the ticketing, the boarding passes. And the father's off to the side like a dunce sitting there with his son hanging off his chest in some type of kangaroo sack. Honey, do you, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to speak. I'll just sit here like an idiot. I'd breastfeed if I could, you know that. It's even happening with my own friends. I called my buddy, I go, what'd you do today? Well, I went to the parent-teacher conference. Parent-teacher conference. My father didn't even know where the school was. He'd often ask me, what grade are you in? Where are you at? <laughs> now the buddy's got a man cave he can't stop talking about. Oh, you gotta come by. Got my man cave. Go down there, watch the game on Sunday. Got my beer and my little koozie. Man cave? You're bragging about a man cave? My father had a man cave. It was the house. 